This is Dr. Thomas Jackson, director of Meat Ministry, located in the United States in a place called Tennessee. My wife, Dr. Laverne Jackson, is one of the co-directors of the ministry where we are involved with hygienic education, health, physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. We've been doing this about 41 years in that area of health education. There is a fundamental principle that I have learned over my 41 years in this area, and I do take it from a biblical perspective. And there's a text in the Old Testament, Leviticus 17, 11. It says, the life of the flesh is in the blood. So when I began to research that principle, the life of the flesh and the blood, I began to understand how the body depends so much on the integrity of the blood. It's like planting, uh, gardening, farming, trees. The soil of the trees find the nutrients that's there to feed the trees. So the blood is the soil of the body. Now, the body is made up of cells, cells. Cells make up tissues, organs, and systems. So the foundation of the body are the cells, and the cells depends upon the health of the blood. So if the blood is poor, then the cell going to be poor. So the health of the cell is dependent upon the blood. So from that perspective, it sets a clear foundation for us to approach sickness and restoration or prevention from a holistic approach. And so when we deal with various diseases, I start with that fundamental principle, the integrity of the blood, the chemical makeup of the blood, and therefore what is lacking and what can be provided. Healthy cells depends on good blood. The blood depends on good food because the food is the source which the blood derive all of its elements from. So now we need to understand then what type of foods that we need. And so the body needs least three components of food, fat, protein, and carbohydrates. Now whole food, not fractional food, whole food, contains those three components, fat, carbohydrates, and protein. In those foods, we find carbohydrates give us the glucose that we need, the energy that we need, the protein give us the amino acids that the body needs to build the components, and the fat give us the fatty acids that helps the hormones, and et cetera, et cetera. So in educating uh, individual that those are the main components or needs that must, must be derived from the foods we eat. So now we need to know where to find those foods, where to find those fats, carbohydrate, protein in its natural setting. And that's what we do. We show what foods contain those, and the best food contains that. Sustainable. Sustainable. Not something that just gives you a burst of energy, does not have a sustainable type of uh, uh, life to it. And so I go back, that man is made from the soil of the ground, so all the foods that we truly believe emphatically must come from the soil. Because we made up of the soil. Every element, every trace element, potassium, calcium, selenium, zinc, comes from the soil. I mean, those, especially in this country, people plant, we got to understand that the plant is only as healthy as the soil. So now we are, we are made from a divine creator. You know, we was talking, which I do believe this, because in America, uh, some of the folks that I know are veterinarian, they feed their animals better food than we feed ourselves. They know that they cannot feed animals fractional food, whole food intact. Hmm? So you take corn, corn is good. All right, so we strip it of the brand, the germ, the endosperm, then we come up with a white product. That product is devoid of the nutritional needs of the blood. 
This is why we have sickness. Our food are stripped and they defibrilize, uh, demineralize. And so all plant foods, all plant foods contain fat, protein, and carbohydrates.